Loaiza recorded the number of miles he ran in each of the 24 races he had. Use either the stem and leaf plot or dot plot to answer the questions. If Loaiza recorded the number of miles for another four races as 8 and 75, 7 and 75, 7 and 9 and 50 miles, how many races did he run between 7 and 25 and less than 9 miles? Welcome to Mr. Sanchez and his math. Today we're going to be talking about the TIC 5.9c solving one and two step problems using data from a dot plot and also steam and lift. This is the lesson two out of four. So we're going to be using the same word problem but with different scenarios. So first scenario, what is the least number of miles he has run in a race? As you can see here, the key is telling me on the stem and leaf that everything that goes under the stems, these are units, as six, right? And if we continue reading the key, 25 is under the leaves, these are my decimals. So in this case, between six and 10, which one is the least of them? Yes, it's six. And between 25 and 50 as a decimal, which one is the least of them? Yes, it's 25. So six and 25, according to our decimal leaf, is the same. Now let's analyze the dot plot on the right side. The key is telling me that each of the dots are two races. So I'm gonna put the numbers on the top so I know what is the value in each of the miles. And I know that the least amount of miles that he run is 6 and 25 with two races. Yes? So 6 and 25 miles. What is the greatest number of miles he has run in a race? So between, in the stimulus, between between 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, which one is the greatest? 10, and I have no other option in the lift, so that means that it's gonna be this one. Now let's look at the dot plot. As you can see, it's all the way to the right side. Two races in how many miles? 10. So my answer is 10 miles. What is the amount of miles he repeated the most? So if we analyze the steam and lift, this one's gonna be interesting because you just have to find how many times he's repeated the value. So for that, we're gonna be focusing on the leaves. Which is the number on the leaves side that repeated the most? Yes, it's 50. 50 matches with seven in the stem. So I am gonna select seven in my stem and all the 50. How many 50s are there? Six. So that one is the one that we repeated the most, seven and 50 miles. If we analyze our dot plot, it's even easier. You just have to check in which one of the miles we have the biggest amount of dots. It's gonna be over here in seven and a half. That's the same then, seven and five miles. What is the difference between the longest distance Loisa run and the shorter distance that he run? So the longest and the shortest were in order. The longest is 10 and the shortest is 6 and 25. So the difference we have to subtract and our answer will be 3 and 75 miles. Is the, the difference between How many more races did Loisa run 8 miles or less than the number of days he ran more than 8 and 50 miles? So the difference between this is very important because 8 miles or less that includes 8. Okay, so as you can see here, we're just gonna count how many are between the first value and 8. That means that I have how many? 16 races. Now, if I talk about more than 8 and 5 miles, that doesn't include 8 and 5. So I only have how many values for this one? I only have 6 races. So if I subtract 16 minus 6, that means that I have 10 more races. Now, let's solve the last type of question. If Loisa recorded the number of miles for another four races as 8 and 75, 7 and 75, 7 and 9 and 50 miles, how many races did he run between 7 and 25 and less than 9 miles? So this is what I already have currently, right? I have 14 between 7 and 25 and 9. The new races, I'm just going to include 8 and 75 and 7 and 75 because 7 and 9 and 50, they are not inside that frame that they gave me, right? 
So these two, I'm gonna add them together and now I'm gonna have how many races? 16 races. With that being said, now you know how to solve problems using Steam and Leaf and Dot Dots. Thank you very much. This was Mr. Sanchez and his math. Today we were talking about the TIG 5.9C solve one and two step problems using data, specifically from the stem and leaf and dot plots. This was the lesson two out of four from the TIG. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Facebook on the left side you can see there so we can keep in touch, okay? Remember that before you leave, please take some notes. Have a good one, guys.